Hello everybody, coming to you from the Pelican headquarters in Miami, Florida. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning if you are uh, in tomorrow in, on the other side of the world. And thank you for, for, for coming here. This is our, our weekly uh, live uh, stream, of course, and where we, you know, we get to hang out and talk about different things. And um, I answer your questions, I make announcements, and uh, I hope you all had a... Um, can you hear me okay? Because I have the microphone in an odd position here today because I don't want it to, to cover the, um, the Christmas tree back there. Okay, no, it's good. It's good, I guess. There. All right. Uh, let me take a look at the chat here, which is uh, going, as, as usual, faster than I can read. Um, so, hello, Dylan. Hello, Mike Nulligan. Hello... Uh, Peter Brill, hello Richard Ramirez, um, and Earth's Earth Spirit, no, and the spi in the spirit, Lucky Dog Productions moderator, hi Sue, and Lucky Dog Productions, hi uh, Bob, and uh, Larsinen, hello there, it's been a while from from Finlandia, huh? Uh, hey Robert, you're on time. Yeah, when I'm here in Miami, I'm usually on time. The problem is when I'm like. Uh, somewhere else. Hello, Motocross, Motocross Max, Max and Crazy Boy Radio from Canada. 1 a.m. night uh, time in Finland. Yes. I want to go to Finland so bad, but I think it's going to have to wait until 2020. Uh, Edgar Herrera. Hello, uh, Huawei. Ooh, this is going faster than I can uh, that I can, <laughs> that I can read. Hello from Jensen Beach, Florida. David. Uh, Steve Halterman. And... Um, Hello, everybody. So, so glad that you are uh, all are here. I wanted to... Um, Christopher also from snowy Sweden. You know, it's... Uh, I was checking um, my, my thermometer in the, in the truck uh, about an hour ago. We went out uh, to the post office and it was 82 degrees Fahrenheit, which is... Uh, I, I know it's probably high 20s in Celsius for you in the in the rest of the world. In the metric world, but yeah, it is um, it is warm here in Miami. Hi, Rita Diodato from Portugal. A gente do Portugal. Uh, Alex Timbling, uh, happy Friday. Greetings from Pasadena, California. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I'm sitting at Starbucks with my beautiful Chevy Colorado getting a Goodyear Wrangler tires. All right. Yeah, before the Alaska road trip, I do want to get new tires for, for Colorado. Current travels, another story. Good evening, Robert. How was that pernil? Pernil was awesome. It's, it's actually the best one that I've cooked. It's a, it was a pork shoulder. And we had it there for like seven hours at 325 degrees. I mean, the, the skin, it burned a little bit and it didn't come out as crispy as I like it. But it had a great, great, great flavor inside. Uh, Emilio from Port St. Lucie. Hello, CLT, Mr. CLT Culture Lifestyle Travel, who organized our meetup last Sunday, by the way. Great meetup at Veza Sur uh, Brewery. And I, and I was going to drink a Veza Sur beer, but I decided... I, I, have, I still haven't uh, had... They, they, had they, they make a beer uh, made with coconuts. Uh, but for the live stream, I, I figured I, I, would, um, I would drink an IPA, as I usually do, which I'm going to start drinking very soon here. Um, David, will you be covering your videos soon? Thank you. I don't understand covering my videos. Um, I have so many, so many videos. Frigid in central Masatoki in the northeast. Larsen in minus 10 Celsius. Oh man, that's cold. About 20 centimeters of snow outside. Winter is coming. I think winter is there. And uh, 80, 82 cold uh, 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 from Hanway Westner. <laughs> uh, CLT, great videos with the RV gift for RVers. I made Andrea watch it. Uh, okay, good. I'm, I'm glad you liked it, man. And uh, yeah, th there there are many other things that you can, can give an RV. I just, um, you know, um, I just had to, um, you know, cut it somewhere. <laughs> Um, John Parrish, my wife and I were watching your videos all day today. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, hi, Robert. Are you going to Grand Canyon anytime soon? Um, probably not. Probably not until uh, January. Uh, probably, uh, I don't know. Let me let me think. Let me think. I might go on my way back from, from Alaska. I don't know. I can always hit the Grand Canyon, but probably not this year. 
actually i have a video coming up of the north rim of the grand canyon that you guys are gonna watch probably in about a week or two i have colorado i have a, a valley of the gods and after valley of the gods i'm pretty sure i went to the grand canyon so uh, I'm, I'm about to edit that video that happened in the summer of course and uh, th that that was um that was a great trip so i'm i'm, I'm really behind in but uh, we'll get to it we'll get to it soon enough this sunday however i'm gonna publish the video of the of the minis on the mountain rally that we had in in huntsville alabama two weeks ago you know breaking the timeline but i wanted to to get that one out of the way you know it's, it's gonna be a long video so you're gonna get a, a, over an hour of, of, of video this coming sunday and uh, of course the, the the patrons and the and the members and actually, the members of the Minis on the Mountain group on Facebook, they, they all got to uh, see that video already that is coming up on Sunday. And um, Hello from High Falls State Park in Florida. I want to go to High Falls State Park, uh, Park in Florida, in, I mean in Georgia. Um, you know, in, in, in February, I'm thinking of doing a loop, a Florida loop around the state. I'm starting to plan it. You never know. I mean, if, if I'm gonna be near the the Panhandle, I might as well go into Georgia, right? CLT is in Kentucky. Oh man, 41 degrees here in Kentucky, and we are making s'mores as we watch you, the family, say hi, say hello, hey Andrea and the children. And uh, you have a basement. Uh, you know, homes in Florida, generally speaking, don't have a basement. Uh, William Rizarri, hello there. Uh, we, we uh, actually we had a great day yesterday. Yes, Alex Timbling, 54 degrees. Where in Pasadena? Loving the weather. Yeah, here it's a little warm, but in the morning it's nice actually. Traveling Buckeyes from, uh, of, of of course uh, Ohio. Good evening, Robert. Hope you are have a happy Thanksgiving. And um, which reminds me, uh, our friend, she's a fellow YouTuber and a very nice lady, uh, Debs. Her her channel got hacked. Uh, a couple of weeks ago and she's she had to open a new channel so if you used to follow rv debs um, her new channel is rv debs journey 2 so um check it out and uh i thought i'd, I'd give her a plug because she she you know, she had a few thousand subscribers and now she's down to 500 and uh, and now I, I, it would be great if she got all the subscribers subscribers that she lost because she as, as of now she lost her original channel so Check her out, uh, RV Deb's Journey 2 is her new channel. Winter is definitely here in the UK. Yeah, I have a, oh, PayPal. Oh, I saw it. I sold either a CD or a sticker, I mean, or a, or a T-shirt. Cool. Uh, Armando Correa, hello, Robert. Happy belated Thanksgiving from Armando and Annie from upstate New York. I, I really want to go to upstate New York, but uh, they told me that... Um, I wanted to go in the springs, in the spring, but I've, I've been told that there are a lot of um, black flies, and I don't want to deal with black flies, so I'm going to go in the, in the fall again. <laughs> Larson and got to sleep starting 6 a.m. in the morning, so I got five hours sleep before a long drive to Oulu. Oulu. Oh, I like Oulu. See ya. All right, Larson and have a great uh, evening over there in, in, in frigid Finland, and... Um, one of these days I'm gonna go back. By the way, if you heard the noise of uh, I'm, today, I'm having a highlight. You know, one of my first uh, IPAs. I might as well crack one open, right? It's the season. Cheers, everybody. <sighs> Hello, Robert. What is the best place to see manatees in Robert from Radu Stufrak? And, um, oh, what's the name of the um, Blue Springs State Park? No, is it? Let me look it up here. No, oh, my map is in, in in Colorado because I was doing research. It's uh, Crystal River. In Crystal River, they have the Three Sisters Spring. And that's one of the best places where I've seen manatee uh, around and... Um, but you have to go on a cold day. That's that's the only caveat. Uh, cold for Florida could be 50 degrees. Yes, so you know, it's everything's perspective, right? <laughs> so yeah. 
No, Crystal River. There you go. 64 degrees in Crystal River. That's the place that I was uh, talking about. Uh, Sally do disgusting content poster to her, her page. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I don't know what happened. Uh, I don't know why people do that, but uh, yeah. Sergio Diaz had a great time at the meetup uh, last week. Had a great time too. Yeah, that, that meetup was really, really, uh, really cool to meet you guys here from Miami, you know. Which reminds me, someone forgot a a um, jacket. If this belongs to you, someone left this jacket at the meetup and someone gave it to me. And I'm like, I held on to it and I realized I had it with me uh, when I was in the car going back uh, home. Um, so if this is yours, send me an email and, uh, and uh, I'll... I'll I mean, you're here in Miami, most likely, so I'll, I'll give it to you. Um, and yeah, the meetup was cool. Uh, looking to Duluth, Minnesota trip of, of Lake Superior. Great beer. I'll show you around. Definitely Duluth, Minnesota. Most likely. And I don't know if I'm going to... You know what? I'll just, I'm just gonna add it to my to my to my itinerary right now. But that's gonna be in May, somewhere, sometime in mid-May. I'm going to be in Minnesota. That's the plan, anyways. I don't know how cold it gets in May, but you know, uh, I can, I can do that. And my phone doesn't stop beeping. <laughs> <coughs> Jorge Urquiola, Super Chat. Hey, Robert, this is Jorge from Andalusia, Andalusia, uh, Alabama. AI. Thanks for the videos. I ordered the light cord you demonstrated on the video. Thanks. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's actually I have back there right now illuminating the the back of um, of the sofa. It's, it's it's very nice. I, I have to figure out a way to put it in mini tini. And by the way, I, I, I as you can see, the... The chat is going faster uh, than uh, than I can actually uh, read everything. So uh, um, if I skip your message, do it again. Uh, Robert, come to Greenville, South Carolina. We'll have an asado argentino. I'm look. I'm really looking forward to that uh, for you. Uh, definitely Argentine uh, meat, especially. It's it's amazing. Uh, yeah. And Lucky Dog Productions moderator, of course, they have uh, a lot of uh, also recommendations for for seeing the man manatee i think pretty much a lot of places especially in the, in the on the gulf coast uh, a lot of the springs are good places because the manatee come in uh, uh, oh jim welcome to chief pelican head all right we have a new chief pelican head and those that's a member uh, of the of the channel thank you so much uh, so so much jim that's really cool i appreciate it and um, and I lost my train of thought. Uh, Daniel Silovitz, hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Ooh, I always do that. What was the dish you showed on Instagram? Looked interesting. That's a pork roast, pretty much Cuban style pork roast. It's a, a pork shoulder. I mean, there weren't that many of us and it was a lot of, of meat. Uh, and uh, that's what I did. It, it, it burned a little bit on the top, but uh, other than that, it came out absolutely fantastic volcano time lapse from louisville hope you had a nice uh, thanksgiving i we sure did it was a great time uh, for sure and uh, uh hi tg mcfly mcfly uh, and uh guten tag from hompak harat and uh, m Carl. happy thanksgiving to you andrea k Andrea K, um, I like your little Christmas tree. Oh, I've had that, I've had that Christmas tree for many many years. I'm surprised it still works. Uh, probably 18 years I've had it. Hello, greetings from Greenwood, South Carolina. How f how was your Thanksgiving? It was great, uh, Scott. It was really really cool. Oh, this is good. Insane Turbo, Polly P, my Merlot is in a box. This is the only way to get it in Montana, LOL. Oh, really? Um, Mr. Business Camper Ralph. Hi, Robert. Greetings from Frankfurt, Germany. All right, Frankfurt. 
Uh, when do you travel through Europe again? Probably next uh, not, not next year, meaning 2021. But you never know. I really want to do it as soon as possible. As you all know, this summer my plan is Alaska. I smell popcorn. Someone made popcorn. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, but I do not have like a, a, a set... Uh, Dated. Hi Robert, when you're coming uh, to Pickering, Ontario in fall 2020, do a meetup in, at Boston Pizza. And that's the thing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys more or less the dates where I want to be at different places. But I, I, I really do need somebody local who knows uh, the local establishments uh, to, to organize this stuff for me because I, I'm really not that good at it. So um, if anybody wants to volunteer to, to quote unquote host the meetup. But I, I, I'll be, I'll be, it'll be great to do it. Jubilina redeemed. Hey, Robert, uh, I lived in Key West, stayed at Miami for about a month and really missed the Colada coffee. I'm back in New Orleans. Come on up. Well, New Orleans has pretty good coffee too. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't have any plans to go to New Orleans, but I, I really like that city. And most likely New Orleans is going to happen a uh, winter, uh, like, either very late 2020 or early 2021. I'm gonna do another trip to the West, but I wanna take a US 90, you know, and then I wanna take New Orleans, you know, go that down to the, the bayou, I guess that's what it's called. I, I explore a little more along the way, not just do I-10 straight through as I usually do. So that's the plan anyways. Oh, this traveler in the house. Man, you have, you, you, you've been a, a absent from the, from the chat. And um, welcome back, my uh, my original uh, moderator. Uh, hi, Robert, and my uh, our f first uh, Patreon as well. Um, Spoon Bazaar. Hi, Robert, I'm from Argentina. Is it possible to see you in the South Hemisphere one day? One day, man. I really, I really want to go to Ar Argentina for sure. Um, I even want to go all the way down to Ushuaia and take the 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 take a cruise to Antarctica that would be great but I'll settle for a good uh, for a good uh, entraña in Buenos Aires um, and looking forward to the North Rim video uh, headed there in August and that's when I was there I was there in actually no I was there in early July probably July 3rd or something like that and that's going to be but i'm gonna to try to do two videos per week so if 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 uh, i'm able to do two videos per week that's gonna be in roughly um, 12 days yeah north rim of the grand canyon and uh john monsanto congrats on the micro mini you will love it from the traveling buckeyes yes micro mini that that's my trailer i'm i'm i'm, I'm looking forward to making some uh, upgrades of course soon but yeah and we've got a super chat from Jason Parrish. Super chat. We love you, Robert. Keep the great work, Jason and Summer from Panama City, Florida. Panama City, man. I, I, I was very close to Panama City a couple of days ago. Actually, two weeks ago. And, uh, and on my, as part of my Florida loop, I intend to go to that area again. That, that'll be in February. If I can find parking. And I'm living camping up there. But uh, the Funiak uh, Springs is uh, part, part of the plan. Maybe Panama City. Maybe may, uh, maybe I'll go all the way west to Pensacola because I have never been to Pensacola. So we'll see. We'll see. Well, thank you so much for that super chat. I really appreciate it, man. And um, let me continue. Oh, to, in Duluth, Grand Marais, Marais? Or is that pronounced like in French, Grand Marais? If you make it to Duluth, go to the Grand Marais, a wonderful town on Lake Superior. I should be writing all this stuff down. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Let me see if I mean you can uh, almost get any color Christmas tree nowadays. Yeah, but yeah, now with LED technology, you know that Christmas tree that's like uh, this fiber optic uh, uh, cables, and it has a an incandescent light light bulb in the middle. I got this one. I, uh, I probably when I moved to a, to an apartment where I lived for a couple of years, and this must have been two thousand one or two thousand, ah, uh, more like two thousand three, two thousand four, two thousand three, around there. So yeah, if that if that tree was a human, you could almost drink. 
Uh, this traveler, the original moderator and patron, trust me, my range is a whopper. Warning to trolls. All right. And you got some aliens there too, uh, together with the trolls. Huh? Uh, <laughs> and, I, I, and I know you have a. I, I know Lucky Dog made you a, a, an actual range, like a, an actual blue range with his uh, 3D printer. Uh, Jose Canes, que on the way, <laughs> que on the way, RV vacation, hello there, uh, we are no longer in Pima Tuning State Park in Pennsylvania, but now in Vicksburg, Mississippi, I, th I see you're coming down south, um, es escaping the cold, I, I'm, I'm sure, we had a turducken for Thanksgiving, turkey stuffed with duck, stuffed with chicken, honest, really, I don't know whether that sounds disgusting or really delicious i'm gonna go for delicious hmm turducken i want to have that sometime for sure and thank you bubba bug uh safe travels all right poly p these travelers hope it's not the veggie whopper oh no gosh no i i, I like my i'm like my regular double whopper with cheese that's my my go-to burger if 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 i if, if i want to do fast food of course because in Miami, there's a Burger King almost in every corner. It's not like you guys up uh, up north. You have all kinds of, of the different uh, uh, fast food chains. Like like in Alabama, I went to some some place called Jack's, which was really cool, really good. Uh, I, I've been to uh, Culver's in Central Florida. I've been to Racing Canes in Ohio. Uh, of course, uh, In and Out Burger in California. And uh, um, White Castle in New Jersey, and uh, and in Indiana too. Anyways, I, I digress. Um, Michael Briggs will be heading to Homosassa in two weeks. Great town, Homosassa. They have the they have the mana that plays with the manatees too in, in Homosassa. That's pretty cool. By the way, totally off topic, but the the, the name Homosassa reminded me of something i'm i'm here in the in the early stages of planning uh, the minitini desk 2.0 which is gonna have a spot uh, right here for the for the berkey filter and uh you know overall different storage on the bottom and all that kind of thing and there was this this gentleman from homo sasa who once many years ago uh, offered to help me out with the with the woodwork and I totally lost his his contact information. Uh, so, but I might I might be be looking for if you guys know anybody in South Florida or the, the lower half of Florida who 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 could help me out with this project. Uh, I I would appreciate it. By the way, uh, I think I'm getting a cold. I don't know, man. Uh, Holy P, I meant the tree itself, not the lights. I have a black tree and the LEDs really shine on the black background. That would be cool. Maybe, maybe, maybe next year I will upgrade my old uh, rotating tree there. And um, I mean, it still looks pretty good on TV, right? <laughs> Are you concerned about the whole Kappa thing? Uh, I am. I think every YouTuber is going to be co concerned about the Kappa thing. Um... My videos are definitely, uh, even though some some children uh, like my 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 videos, because I I've, my videos are not made uh, for for children, and I, they, they so, uh, I mean, on, uh, unless someone would determine that my videos are made uh, specifically targeting children, I think I'll be I'll be okay. Uh, but yeah, it's a concern because some of the language in that law is, is a little vague. That's that's the one thing. But uh, yeah. Branko Kovacic, Florida is one of my favorite states in the USA. Florida is great because of the climate, especially this time of the year. But um, there's so much beauty elsewhere as well. You know, we, we probably have the best beaches, like sand-wise. But uh, we don't have any mountains. And uh, well, you know. <laughs> are not i wish i could edit posts uh oh what 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 did i miss are you concerned uh okay that was the one okay da -da -da. any plans to visit montana yes definitely glacier national park 
which of course I'm going to go in the wrong time of the year. I'm thinking of going early June, which I hear some of the best spots are are still closed because snow. Hello, yeah, my my, my Florida mind uh, sometimes doesn't understand snow, and but. Uh, they say it's it's uh, the solitude is great uh, in early June, so eh, I might do it. Uh, Branko Kovacic, in your video of Zion, how cold do you think it was? And uh, Mario Botel, hold on, because he's also asking, are you planning to do a year review podcast and video for 2019? Um, maybe I will. Yeah, thank you. That's a great idea. Uh, Mario Botello, uh, Robert Grand Canyon with our hiking Yellowstone Yosemite Zion, do you think... Um, a day for each is enough to do a decent visit? Absolutely not. Well, Yosemite, maybe. If you, because Yosemite, you have the valley. And if you're going to stay in the valley, which is arguably the, the prettiest part, that's fine. And Zion, you might be able to do in one day as well. Now, Yellowstone, I would take two days for Yellowstone. Not, not because there's... There's a lot to see, but it's also so large. You know, yeah, Yosemite and Zion is just a valley. And yeah, if you can do a lot of hikes, but if all you, you can do is the valley, it's fine. The Grand Canyon, if you're just going to do the South Rim or just the North Rim, you can do it in one day. Yellowstone is the only one that because of the size of the park, it, it's, it's kind of, you know, from Yosemite Canyon to like, Old Faithful, it's going to be like two hours driving. And then if you want to go to the springs, what, what are they called? The springs that are uh, in the north, which is a must see. That's another two hour drive. So um, I, Yosemite, uh, uh, I mean, Yellowstone for sure, two, uh, two days. The other two, I mean, yeah, if you just want to see and, and, and see the, the landscape, yeah, you can do it one day. In your video, Simon, how cold do you think it was? Well, I know it was uh, in the morning. It was it froze uh, for sure, but it, it got up to the 40s. It, 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 I even broke a sweat as I was uh, uh, going up Angels Landing. So yeah, uh, does a burger require frequent breakdown and cleaning? Not really, not that I know. And I had it. I, I, I had it back there where the where the uh, where the uh, Christmas tree is right now. And uh, of course, I haven't had it long enough for that, but it, I, it, it says, I don't know how many gallons, but it is thousands of gallons that you can uh, filter with just the, the, the two filters that come inside. And when, when, when it stops filtering, you just remove those two filters and put two new ones. So um, it's, it's, it's pretty much, I mean, it, it's, it's pretty much worry-free for the most part. Uh, Robert, please do an end of the year recap podcast talking about your travels and what you liked about them this past year. Also, what's the IPA today? You know, I'm going to have to write that down because, yes, I'm going to make a recap. Uh, the, the IPA today is um, uh, Cigar City High Ally from Tampa, Florida, which is still one of my favorite IPAs uh, since it was one of the first ones that I, I ever tried. So, uh, yeah. Take some zinc and garlic capsules for your cold. Uh, I take five milligrams of zinc a day and everyone in my household got sick but, but me. I'll try that. I should try that. I don't know if it's a cold or it's... Uh, I don't know. Uh, hi, Robert. What, what, um, from Dylan Reynolds. When are you planning to visit uh, Fairbanks, Alaska on summer solstice? Definitely. June 20th, I intend to be there for the... for the. Um, I well, the solstice is on the 21st, I believe. Or is it? Uh, but on the 20th is, I think it's on a Saturday, and that's where the where they're gonna do the the, the marathon and the baseball game and the midnight. Uh, the, it's called the Midnight Sun Festival. So yeah, Florida Faith Rada. Hey Faith Rada, I, I, last week I wore the, your T-shirt. Thank you so much. A uh, Florida East Topography Challenge. That that's much is certain, except uh, for a little bit in the middle, like like just north of Orlando. There's a couple of hills there. But mm, not much, huh? John Jerky, what about the IPA we delivered in the gift bag? Uh, I drank it many, 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 many months ago. Uh, John, I still have the flag somewhere back there. Norwegian flag. It's leave our it's leave our V repeat. 
Hold on, because uh, hi Robert, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Can you talk a little bit about your technique on backup your rig? Give me some tips. Well, it's it's like everything. And by the way, hello Red Jaguar, happy Thanksgiving. Um, the bottom of the steering wheel. If you and, and look in your mirrors, if you want the trailer to go that way, the bottom of the steering wheel goes that way. If you want the trailer to go that way, the bottom of the steering wheel goes that way. That's my main technique. And the rest is just trial and error. You, 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 you get better at it. At the beginning, I really sucked. I really over overcorrected. And, uh, and every trailer is different. Actually, I hear that the longer the trailer there is, the, re the easier it is. Greetings from Oxford, England. Hello, Chris and Jackie Trujillo. Thanksgiving was great. And when are you visiting Alaska? Well, as I was saying, June. June is the, the plan to, to visit Alaska. I have the whole thing more or less planned out. If, if you guys want, I can show you on, on road trippers. Uh, kind of. Uh, from snowy Southern California. I know what happened. <laughs> it must be global warming or cooling in this case. Oh, man. Hey, Robert, do you still like your Sky Pro Wi-Fi? I do. I haven't used it, to be honest, I'll be honest, I haven't used it as much since I got the new, the, the Togo. But uh, stay tuned, because a Wi-Fi Ranger is going to send me their new thing. It's called Convergence or something like that, and there are three models. I'm waiting for the for the larger model to, to, to come out. And it combines Wi-Fi with a data plan. It, it, it seems to be like a really cool product. It's not a... Two of them are out yet. The, the the better one, which is called Everest, is coming out in January. And that's uh, the one that they're going to send me. But the other two are the same. Just the antenna, you know, has less antennas and less uh, features. But uh, that new Convergence product seems to be really good. Hey, John Chucker. Uh, I think you and your IPS are really cool. Like a cool spinning Christmas tree. And happy Thanksgiving. Yes, Thanksgiving. And I personally have so many things to be thankful for. But um, Frank Seller, maybe you're allergic to winter rather than getting a cold. Could be. Actually, this morning I went for a, for a four-mile run and it was a, a very frigid 60 degrees out there. So I may have developed some, you know, I was, I don't know, <laughs> 60 degrees. Yeah, it, it felt chilly for Miami, actually. Uh, hi, Robert. Are you planning on doing any more fish feature fl f films? Yes, I do. Hey, Barbara Zig. How are you? Um, feature films, uh, most definitely. Uh, I just haven't had the time. To be, be honest about it, I, 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 I really want to focus on, on finishing this uh, summer series. And then... And this is the thing. I'm, I'm, I, I want to work ahead. I want to have like four or five videos ahead you know so i can concentrate on may maybe making some feature films particularly for amazon because for some reason uh, uh, feature films work a lot better on amazon than than just um serious for some reason hey robert make a canada version of driving to the west oh definitely i i, I want to take the trans canada jim we have a new uh, north high beer for you that gavin gave us last week oh jim man yes it's called Wired, uh, a coffee stout. Hopefully, he will be making Stardust IPA that you like before we head south to work with you. Definitely, man. Looking forward to seeing you guys. I'm looking forward to um, um, my my second favorite beer or my third favorite, perhaps, is, is a stout. I used to be a Guinness drinker for a little while there. So, yeah. Red Jaguar. Hey, Robert, you have early Christmas gift coming your way. Something you need. Oh, Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Should I be should I be checking my my PO box? I went today and there was nothing there. But anyways, if, if you guys want to send me something, uh, I, I put the PO box there on the screen, um, just in case. Uh, John, any chance that you will do a how-to video about RV rent for beginners out of Florida? I could do that. I could do that. I, I haven't planned it, but I can. I can. I can do something like that. And um, I've been thinking of renting an RV. Actually, I wanna. I wanna have the feel of a of a Class C uh, once again. And as you know, down here in South Florida, I think all we have is El Monte and uh, and Cruz America, and they're gonna rent you 
uh, four four wins, either uh, a twenty a twenty four something or another, or twenty eight something or another, and, and and I think they have like a twenty two uh, uh, footer as well. But it's, it's usually the, the same, you know, classic class C. Warming puts more moisture in the air. Yeah, it's it's been a weird couple of uh, uh, um, years for sure. Looking to buy a Class A RV, what do you think? It, yeah, Class A is uh, it it really depends. The, the Class A is very broad. You can buy gas or diesel, of course. Uh, if you want to go for gas, you can get something as short as a twenty-five footer, um, all the way to like high thirties. If you go for diesel, they have them from high thirties to forty-five footers, and um, it really depends on what you want to do. You may want to have a toad behind your, your Class C if it is one of the long ones. Um, yeah. Uh, B. Adams, you have a grand design. Imagine MKE17 because of your videos. We are looking forward to some road trips. Uh, congratulations. And yeah, grand design seems to be well made. It's, it's on, the, on, the, on the... There are some of the better ones. What are you doing for New Year's? I'm just going to stay here at home and watch, uh, you know, TV and the ball, you know, come down in New York. I don't have any plans, any, any, any real plans, but something will come up, I'm sure. Maybe I'll do a live stream, you know, a countdown or something. Uh, Tap Channel, hello there. I'm in downtown Miami by American Airlines Arena. It just got windy here. Oh, really? Well, enjoy our warm uh, evenings here in downtown Miami. Barbara Zig. I thought that the snippet of Texas is hot was hilarious. Thank you for that. Yeah, I, that, I thought uh, I, I liked. Uh, I don't know. I, I came up with it. It's one of those things. I'm, usually when I'm driving, I, I think of something and I, I'll record it on my phone. And, and then it'll come out totally different when I do the, the actual song. But it's a start. Um, if if Fuddy Duddy, Faith Rada, if Yellowstone goes up while you're there, at least you won't suffer long. Oh, don't even say that. The, the Yellowstone, it's going to go one, one of these days, right? Um, Robert, do you like Belgian ales? I'm a huge fan of Duvel. I like Duvel. My favorite is Chimay, the yellow one. I forget what it's called. The, the Trappist ales are my favorite. And that was that was my gateway drug into IPAs, believe it or not. This is the good stuff, man. Next time you visit Ohio, okay, Pilly Island, and um, hey, Nate Rowe, Thanksgiving was great. Andrea K, if you're ever in the northern panhandle, West Virginia, need a place to boondog, we will put you up with free electric and water. Thank you so much. I really like West Virginia. What's the northern panhandle of West Virginia? Now I'm like, I'm having a, a one of those a geographical a, moments where I don't know because West Virginia is kind of would this be it okay I see near Pittsburgh is that it because West Virginia has an area here by by Harper's Ferry where it's close to I don't know I, I don't have that 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 border very clear in my head for some reason and I'm on the wrong Google account here because I don't have my little stars. I know why, because I was I was doing a screenshot for for the video that I'm editing. Uh, where was I? Let me uh, go back here to to me. Oh, we have a super chat, super chat. Just me. Thank you so much for that super chat. Looking forward to your Florida trips this winter and the state park reviews. Your videos are great. Thank you so much and. I really hope I can get into some of the state parks because, as you know, Florida, it's kind of busy in the winter. But I'm, I'm confident that I'll be able to find something. Uh, okay, this traveler, just FYI, if you don't have LEDs as headlights, I'd go for it. Uh, I sure can't tell the difference. Okay, we'll be going into Culver's. Cheers all. And Google thinks I'm talking to it. Result. Lately, uh, both both Siri and Google are a lot more sensitive than they used to be. 
Uh, I enjoy Culver's, man. That, that was a nice bur burger. And next time I go to Culver's, I want to try their frozen custard as well. Uh, I don't have LED headlights for all its uh, high technology. The Colorado came with, in with incandescence, believe it or not. Thank you, Luis Rivera and uh, Mr. Boricua50. Hello, big fan. Also, RV Traveling. Cheers, man. And receive my Traveling Rubber sticker. It will be first sticker on the new rig. Thank you so much, Mr. Robato. And uh, in, 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 in sticks uh, fashion, Domo Arigato, Mr. Robato. Um, up near Wheeling, West Virginia. That's uh, where I thought, more or less. Yeah, it's... Um, Willing, yes. Okay. Yeah, last trip. I, I, when, when I, and uh, of course, you haven't seen those videos yet. But after Columbus, I wanted to stop in Pittsburgh. But there was just no, not enough time. There was just not enough time. In any case, let's continue. Uh, hey Robert, what's your link to order stickers and t-shirts from you? Uh, well, it's uh, if you go to travelingrobert.com slash merch, because I, I changed uh, I changed the link. Although travelingrobert.com slash stickers should still forward there. This is the new this is the new link, and let me make sure that it works. Oh no, it's not working. What the heck did I do wrong? I put match instead of merch. Hello, spelling. <laughs> Hold on. Let me do that again. Let me, uh, can I delete my own message? Yeah, remove. Uh, let's do that again. That should work now. Let's try it. Let's give it a tr let's give it a shot. Let's see, and uh, it works. And this is what I did, and it's kind of confusing. But in my merchandise, I, I have a, a sub menu for DVDs and Blu-rays, and one for the San Antonio uh, T-shirts, but which I'm, I'm almost sold out. But here's the link for the CD, and uh, and uh, hey, where's the sticker? Oh, it's here. There we go. There's the sticker. You add to cart. And that's like the apparel store, which if you click there, it'll take you to Teespring, which is the other the It's it's a separate website. I don't ship the t-shirts myself. I just, um, you know, I go through through uh, through Teespring because, to be honest, it's uh, it's a lot easier. So there you go. Hey, this traveler, you're still here. Uh, I just have to mute the audio. All right. <laughs> oh, I put my Vesa Sur sticker on our RV. It looks great. Yeah, I have to put that one. And they, they also gave me a... I was going to drink it today, but since it is IPA night, this is uh, one of their... Um, it's called Tiki Tiki. And it is a coconut porter. I'm gonna try it one of these days. Maybe tonight, later on. All right, where were we? Okay, Richard Ramirez, Tampa RV Show. Is that a mid upset? I think we're just gonna do something impromptu. Um, by you know they have this pavilion it's like a white dome it's like neck in between the park models and where they do the seminars and they have like the teardrops that's that's where they had them the last time i'm just thinking of doing something impromptu there uh, at noon on saturday that's pencil that in it's not written in stone yet but yeah pencil that in most likely Hello, Robert. Uh, it's Tom, the guitar guy. I always listen, but uh, usually not live. All right. Well, welcome to the to the live 
feed here and uh, hello robert love uh, from Man mike mark bombardo love to follow you adventures thank you for a great entertainment oh you're very welcome mm. ah, steve lusher you need a new pal check i don't understand how's driving to the east going uh, you mean the song i'm gonna finish it one of these days <laughs> We love those t-shirts, especially with a tiny Robert driving and waving. Cool. Oh, thank you. And uh, Yaki Trujillo loves my Christmas tree. Isn't that cool? I've had that thing for many, many years. And um, and no more messages? What happened? Oh, here we go. Maybe there was a, a glitch. Hi, Rocking Ritish. Okay, I'm going to go back to some of the older uh, Jim, okay, Jim, Barbara has now started making apple pie moonshine. So she will have that for you guys to Oh man. Like her turkey yesterday uh, yesterday both cooked on her instant pot. Yeah, I, I saw something like that on uh, on the, on Facebook about that. What weight does Colorado pull? I think it's 7,200. Um, Northern Panhandle of Virginia, William, Virginia. Okay, I saw that. A, a propaganda drunk, propaganda drunken. Could you do a, a film on your favorite fast food joints while on the road? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of, lately, I'm, I'm kind of doing it as I go along because I'm... I, I, I wouldn't advocate for having a fast food like every day, but uh, once in a while, you know, when you when you encounter these places that you don't have at home, and uh, here in Miami proper, it's pretty much the national chains. We don't have anything. We used to have Miami subs, but I don't know what happened to that one. And um, but like, uh, I really like racing canes in Ohio. I really uh, like, uh, of course, uh, In and Out Burger uh, in on, in the West. And uh, and Whataburger uh, in Texas and um, what's the other one? White Castle in the Northeast and the Midwest. So yeah, definitely. Um, oh, now we have a bunch of messages. Hi, Robert. I have a sticker for you. When I see you in Arizona, hopefully, I'm not going to Arizona this year. Just uh, FYI. But when I go to Arizona, definitely would love to see it. Uh, and I'm glad I, I went last year and not this year. Last year was, was probably the last uh, normal uh, RTR. This year, the RTR is going to be weird. Uh, Dylan, you remember you sent me and my dad an email when you were on the road? Where were you? I don't recall exactly. Oh, man. And uh, Scott Dimer, hi from KC, which I want to visit probably in sometime in late May. Uh, <laughs> tap channel. Dustin in, in St. Louis, uh, STL, right? St. Louis. Uh, I wish you could. Continuous live stream a video of Miami this winter from your house. The one I used to watch of Collins uh, Drive South Beach was taken down. You mean outside? I could do that. Yeah, I could do that. Maybe I should do a, a live stream like uh, like driving around. You mean? You have to, yeah, Crater Lake, uh, Peter Brill, Crater Lake for sure. It's on the bucket list. I just have to figure out how to make it, how, how to make it there. And let me, let me see real quick because Crater Lake, is that, is that in Washington? Crater Lake. Oregon, Crater Lake National Park in Oregon. Maybe when I come back from, from Alaska, 
you know, I was I, I was kind of close. But I, I when I was uh, when I was out west earlier this year. But I decided to go east from Portland, and I and I took the 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 Columbia River Gorge. I visited our, my, my my friend in um, in Walla Walla, Washington. Best pizza ever, and uh, yeah. Oathkeeper, I have an idea for next meetup. Everyone wear a name sticker with name and city displayed. Thoughts? Yeah, definitely. Maybe we should make those. Or, yeah, everybody bring their own, I guess, because uh, we don't know who's coming. Um, Polly used to live in North Beach, four blocks away from Biscayne Boulevard. Now I'm in Southeast Wisconsin, not like in the cold. Yeah, totally different weather. Have you ever been towed before? The trailer? Nope. Knock on wood. Uh, Mario Botello, uh, can we download... Uh, can we download the music mp3 format instead of cd it's easier uh, well yeah it's everywhere if you check in, in uh, on uh, uh, itunes or amazon or you can even stream it on spotify the music is everywhere everywhere you can buy uh, music uh, propaganda drunker thank you for answering traveling robert do you hear orlando is getting a white castle also, there's a water burger in North Florida. Take care. Yeah, the thing that in South Florida, especially here in Miami, south of Orlando, we don't we don't even have. There's like one Cracker Barrel. It's uh, yeah, it's not. Um, what do you mean by weird? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, uh, red Jaguar, your sweat hoodie is really comfortable and warm. Oh, cool! I'm wearing the red one now. I will, it will make a good Christmas gift for those of us in colder climates. Well, I'm glad you like it. And yeah, I have a black one and uh, it works good, works well. Uh, and hi, Rockin' British and um, Vienna, Austria. One day, man, one day I'll do Vienna, Austria. Uh, Harold Allen would love to know what kind of bed cover you have for your Colorado. It's an extang solid fold. It's a trifold uh, cover and it's good. It works well. It tends to shift if you go like on a really bad dirt road, but other than that, it's, it's, it's worked out great. Dustin STL, yeah, they had outside live stream of Collins Drive from a balcony. That was awesome for us in the cold north to watch and chat in the winter time. Um, I don't go to Miami Beach all that much, to be honest, but I will. Uh, I will do it for you guys. Uh, Rock, uh, hey Robert, where do you live? I live in Miami, Florida. Miami proper. Can't wait to see your Pacific Northwest videos. They're coming. They're coming soon, I hope. Uh, Curtis Pope. Hi, Robert. Been watching for two years. My first post from Roanoke, Virginia. You inspired my kids and, kids and me when we went to the Four Corners, both kids in marching bands. Love your music. Thank you so much, and I ho hope you enjoyed that Four Corners. I, I really like the area. Uh, for, yeah, definitely, for sure. Um... Hey, Jeffrey Weir and uh, Angie Roos. Hi, Robert from Naples, Florida. Where did you get the Christmas tree in the background? Oh, that. I've, I've had that thing since like 2002. And uh, must have been Walmart. I'm pretty sure it was Walmart. <laughs> uh, Family Glow. Happy late, late bird day to you. Gobble, gobble. All right. Hey, Robert, how do you feel when your old car had to go to the Firestone in North Carolina? Uh, it was a stressful couple of days. Not as, I mean, not as bad as when I realized that I was going to have to buy a new car. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, Rita Dorado loved your New England road trip. Which other countries in Europe would you like to visit in 2021? Italy for sure, Spain, Italy, and Germany um, for sure. And if I have time, I would love to go back up to uh, to Finland. 
but uh, we'll see how um, we'll see how, how much time I have. Tap channel is Spanish official first language here in Miami. Not necessarily it depends what area you go to, but it, it is a very widely spoken. Let's just put it that way. Uh, Spinal, hey Robert from Ocala, Polly P, order Christmas tree online for Cyber Monday, they are cheap, all right. Uh, Family Glow, you can get a hot butcher uh, beers, the Orange Blaze IPA, you'd like it. I'm making I'm make a note of that. Jim, next time in Columbus, we'll take you to Thurman's, not a chain, for Thurman's Burger. Uh, two 12 ounce patties, ham and bacon. Oh man, that sounds good. <laughs> Not possible f to finish in, in one sitting. FYI Donato. Well, don't, I, we we got to have Donato's pizza as well. Uh, right? How is it driving in windy conditions? It depends on your hitch. Uh, if you have a cheap hitch, I wouldn't recommend it. And But if you have a good, um, you know... Uh, anti sway hitch like I have a I have a pro pride which is probably almost overkill but uh, it's it's before I had the pro pride one that one time at band camp you know that one time crossing the oh what's the name of the bridge in Jacksonville it was kind of windy and uh, in Jacksonville Florida uh, maids it's a uh, oh man I forgot the name of that bridge anyways regardless it's a um, it could be stressful because you're basically towing a sail back there. Uh, Harold Allen. Oh, Donato's coming to Florida. Okay, Harold Allen. Uh, love your videos. Just wondering what kind of truck bed cover you have. That's it. And as, as I said, an X-Tang solid fold. It's, it's really good. A uh, tap channel Miami is trilingual English, Spanish, and Haitian Creole. I, I, I agree, it, it really depends on the area where you are. Uh, like in the area where I live, it's a, I'd say it's 90% Spanish, the, 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 the language spoken. Like, and not even at home, you go to a gas station, you go to um, the supermarket, you know, they're gonna say gracias instead of thank you, most likely. And um, of course, if you go to the, the, the a little further north into the, the little Haiti area, yeah, they, 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 they will speak uh, Haitian Creole, which is very similar to French. And, um, and most people speak English, of course, but uh, sometimes it is a second language. Uh, where are we? Uh, how much does the Colorado pool? It's about seven, a little over seven thousand pounds. Ella Fly, we bought your CD for last Christmas. Last Christmas, new one coming soon. Yes, as, as soon as I finish selling the the one the, the batch that I have, and I have like I want to say thirty left, which is is probably gonna sell before the end of the year. Uh, I am going to. Uh, it's only like two or three tunes that I'm going to add to the new one. Mainly, I just composed one, which is, I'm calling it Underground Hike, which is the one that you heard in Car Carlsbad Caverns. There's hiking in the valley, which I'm going to extend a little more. Uh, there's driving to the east, which I, I still haven't finished. And um, there's a couple of them that I did for Austin that I don't know if I'm going to combine them into one. I don't know, like for, for the CD, I mean, you know, because I don't want to, some of them are very short and I don't want to have like a, like a one minute track. Brian, thank you. Welcome to, to the to the to the uh, elite chief Pelican head group. Thank you so much. Happy Black Friday, IR1981. And Mario Ramos. Hey, Robert, love your videos. You got me hooked uh, thinking about getting an RV and hitting the road. Mario from Hialeah, La Ciudad Que Progresa. Hialeah is our neighboring city here just to the northwest of Miami. And uh, Hi, Robert. Do you know you can drive to the West in one day? Mm, it, it's going to be hard. To the West Coast of Florida, maybe. Hi, Jackie. Put a pelican on the top of the Christmas tree. Just an idea. 
That would look good, wouldn't it? <laughs> A rotating pelican. And Bob B B Burnett, hello, we are coming to Florida for a couple weeks. Coral Sands RV and then west to Fort De Soto. Love the videos. Keep uh, Fort De Soto, man. That's good, 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 good place. Very nice. Uh, Luis Mesa, out of all your travel, what's your favorite IPA? I can't really say. I mean, I I always default back to the same ones, but I um I still like the High Ally uh, from Tampa quite a bit. I like uh, I like some of the ones that I tried from North High. You know, from when I went to Ohio, I bought like a K, brought like a case, and they had they had like four or five different IPAs, and those were really nice too. And um, of course, I love Lagunitas, which was my first IPA. And uh, even here in Miami, they're they're making some very very nice ones. So, um, all right, William Irizarry, good night. I'm going to hit the honey ham. All right. Don, 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 save me some. Propride, <laughs> uh, 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 Jim, propride not overkill for the peace of mind you have now. Oh, de yeah, definitely. I, mean, I, I say overkill because most people use it in a, in a heavier trailer, but I, I, I've said, I said it on the podcast, I think, today. Um, this there was this one time I was going up I ninety five and it was there was traffic and the guys in front of me started braking and I didn't notice it, it right on time and, and by by the time I noticed I had to do a panic break basically on those narrow lanes in I ninety five and that thing back there stayed rock solid in the middle I mean it's uh, definitely why are you so handsome well you know. What can I say? <laughs> Donovan Davis, thank you so much for that super chat. Robert, find your videos by accident on YouTube. My wife and I watch all your new videos and have watched lots of oldies. Love your work. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Donovan. And thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Um, oh, we've been at this for an hour already. You guys let me know if you get bored and we'll, we'll call it quits or we can stay for another few minutes. Uh, red, white, and maple. We live in Sandif to start a three-month RV travel. Hope to cross. Hope to cross sand dunes. You mean the ones in New Mexico or the ones in California? Both are great. Uh, love the IPAs. Gets you buzzed quicker. Well, yeah, that too. I love the flavor too. <laughs> Angel Reese, uh, if you ever in Naples, Florida, I would like to boondock our three acres. My husband and I would love to have you stay. Here we have water and electric. Let's let's talk for February because as part of my my Florida loop, I I might uh, want to stay in Naples. So um, let's let's keep in touch. And Red Jaguar, maybe Robert can make his own Christmas CD a song like having my Christmas tree in my RV. Not a bad idea. One of these days, uh, Maguire's Irish Pub of Days Destin. I think we've been there. Three quarter pound steak burgers and microbrewery. What more do you need? No, I haven't. You know, no, I haven't been there. But that's my uh, my uncle, um, my uncle, my cousin Juan's uh, f one of his favorite place that favorite favorite places that he recommended. He has a place down there. My cousin Juan from from Kentucky, from Louisville. Well, next time we're going there for sure. Uh, Haley family, thank you so much. Gotta run. All right, see you next time, and um, we'll buy a Christmas CD from Robert. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about that. I'm gonna work on that. Thanks for um, propaganda, drunk. Thanks for participating tonight, traveling, Robert. It's past my bedtime, so good night. All right, see you next time. Thank you so much for being here. And red, white, and maple. Thank you so much for that super chat. Grab a few IPAs on us. Cheers, man. I thank you. Mm. Uh, even if North High uh, not bored I just cracked open my fourth beer oh you're way ahead of me I'm just finishing my first one uh, uh, Jim even if, if North High did not have a great beers hard to beat how great Gavin treats you and uh, and uh, us thanks to you yeah man that that gaming was great and i just realized that here on my on my chat since i have it on black 
you can't see the, the the pelican icon to the right of you but at least your color is different okay uh, Dibu, what's the campground that you pay 80 dollars a year and can you utilize sort of their facilities are you talking about a thousand trails or something like that i'm not certain but uh there are several uh, and uh, and when if if and when i start full time and i'm gonna go into thousand trails and passport america and all these things because of course if you're gonna stay at a place and you have to pl you you plan to stay at a place for a long time but the way i travel right now i prefer to to pretty much fly by the seat of my pants and um and i don't want to be planning to be here or there based on what a kind of thing i'm paying you know like either a thousand trails or passport america or whatever Ernesto Velez, love you brother thank you so much and Polly p drinking beers is an art, an art form all right <laughs> salvage van life i'm elvis give me money Are you elvis like elvis elvis the the van dweller i'm gonna tell camo dave on you man <laughs> Uh, stop by Redlands and say hello. See my new mini, John Monsanto. I don't know. We might head down there soon. Red wine and maple bringing down some Canadian beer. Oh, for sure, man. I, yeah. I had, I had some great, great IPA. It was in in Victoria. Uh, last uh, last uh, summer. Man, hello. Too much wine. <laughs> Uh, rocking. Oh man, this is getting a. Um, <laughs> rock, rocking British. I'm bored. Oh, you're bored. Play the Christmas uh, song in Fiji. I want to go to Fiji one of these days. Harvest hosts, I think. Well, harvest hosts. Oh, that's the one that you pay 80 bucks. This is the thing with Harvest Host. And I'm going to get in trouble here. It's it's great in concept, but it, it's not always perfect. And that's the one thing that uh, sometimes... But for the most part, I've, I've had some great experiences. And it's a great... And you get to meet a, a lot of great people, like the owners of many of these places are the nicest people. I met the, the owner of the, the winery where I stayed near Taos, New Mexico, in Velarde, New Mexico. Such great people. And the, the owner and the bartender, they gave, they, you know, they gave me so much advice about going this and going there. And um, it was great. But then some places you go and, and you get awakened in the morning at 5.30 a.m. by the landscaping guy. And um, it's not always perfect, but I have it. I'm going to keep it because it's it's really inexpensive and you get to stay at some interesting places uh, that that's for sure koa stands for campgrounds of america they tend to be relatively expensive uh, but it's it's very good and very easy to book and generally speaking except for the one in uh, north of durango uh, they're, they're very nice people running them uh, traveling robert do you prefer new york city chicago miami or los angeles Oh, New York City, of course. And I'm going to get in trouble for that one, too. <laughs> Come to Arizona, for sure. Uh, salvage van life. <laughs> uh, Thousand Trails is four ninety nine a year. Yeah. And uh, I wouldn't be the expert on Thousand Trails. I think uh, Nomadic Fanatic would be the expert on that, I guess. I just had Nomadic I mean, I had a Thousand Trails for a, for a short period, for one year. Just as we bought the trailer, it came free with the trailer for a, for a year, like a trial. And we didn't really get a chance to, to take advantage of it. At that, that time, we were just weekend warriors, pretty much trapped in South Florida for the most part. And, uh, and we didn't have any thousand trails close to us. So that was the problem. Can you sing us a Christmas song before you sign off tonight? I could do that. Sing an Elvis song. She was like, are you lonesome tonight? Um, how are you liking your Colorado? For the most part, it's been running great. And as I've said before, some, some of the technology and automation that it has, it really gets on my nerves. But 
Other than that, it's nice. Fasum Bakam, hello, good evening. Andrew and Monica, hello there. Any plans to visit the Keys this winter? Uh, maybe. Maybe in February, around February, March. Uh, we'll see. Maybe maybe when all the snowbirds leave, uh, I'll, I'll do a trip to the Keys before heading north. Are you planning to do a flight from Fairbanks to Barrow, Alaska? I would love to do that. It's not in the plans, but if they, if serendipitously the opportunity comes, I will do it. Uh, Robert, what are you using for dash cam? And do you have an aftermarket swivel mount? Well, my dad, I don't have a dash cam. What I have is my my Sony. Uh, where is it? This is for what I use for dash cam right now is the, the Sony FDR AX, uh, I mean, of Sony FDR X3000, which works great as a dash cam because I, have it, I can have it connected to USB to power because the battery on this camera doesn't last very long, but it works well as a dash camera. I have it on a upside down, actually. It's on a tripod mount and it goes into a, into a suction cup. So I just have it looking forward like that and most of the time, and then when I want to talk on camera, I just point it my way and then point it back out. That's what I do. Not, nothing fancy. Well, it's a, it's a nice, fancy Sony um, um, action cam, but that's all there is to it. Brian, thank you so much for that super chat. Wife Sandra and son Andrew are watching Traveling Robert from Virginia. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Uh, Red Jaguar, I live, I'm, I'm assuming you say I love KUA, but the one in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, the the the, the, the own gave us the same experience you had. All right. Um, actually, the one in Elizabethtown uh, is not bad. Motocross Max from France. Uh, bon, bonjour or bonsoir, bon nuit, I don't know. <laughs> Red, white, and maple. Uh, my four-year-old uh, prim is constantly singing, driving, and driving in my RV. All right. That sounded great, Robert. Thank you. And it's Elvis Pelican. You know, I have, I have a Pel uh, an Elvis song that we did in, in, in like in a salsa uh, rhythm. I, I'm going to sing you guys that one at some point. Richard Ramirez, thank you so much for that super chat. Super chat. <laughs> Let me read Christopher Olsen here. Uh, thanks for tonight. Always nice to listen to the questions. See you next week. See you next week. All the way from Sweden, Christopher Olsen. Uh, John Monsanto in Key West is, is rated high, right on the water. Yeah, I know the, the naval base, but you have to be uh, uh, military. Fasum Bakam, thank you so much for that uh, super chat. And that's one of those new super chats where you can have like an like a like an emoji super chat. Those are really cool. Uh, Robert, what areas do you like most? Mountains, flat desert, or palm trees, beach areas? I like the the three of them, but I've been around palm trees all my life, so I'll go for mountains. I I, I seeing seeing mountains on the horizon really puts a smile on my face. Uh, whenever I see them and then flat desert not as much as mountains with desert like even even though let's just mention one place Quartzsite Arizona on paper is not the most attractive place in the world but there's something about it that it's desert and uh, and mountains and yeah uh, we might see a lot of snow here in Jersey especially north uh, of the state Sunday and Monday with highs in the mid 30s no, oh, I'm gonna get cold. I'm all shook up. That's uh, the song from Elvis. Memories of little trips. Paulo Pereira, I'm back from Massachusetts. All right, and John Monsanto, what's a super chat? Is when you know you can send me some money and uh, and make me very happy. <laughs> Um, we're always watching your videos from John B B Bjerke. Bjerke? 
I know you guys pronounce the J as an I, so Bjerki, right? In our neighborhood, uh, brewer, brewery bar. Thanks, Robert. No, thank you. Thank you, uh, John. And uh, Lance Phillips, uh, Canada. Well, I'm going to go through Canada in order to make it to, to Alaska. And maybe on the way back from Alaska, I'll do the Trans-Canada all the way to the Maritimes. I don't know. Haven't planned uh, that far ahead. Paula Pereira, get to meet sometime soon. Sometime. KOA Lancaster, Pennsylvania proper. That's the one we should avoid. All right. Thank you, Red Jaguar and Jim. Yes, to the keys. And when us snowbirds are here, LOL Southern Comfort. And then we'll go see Michael Triggs. Oh, that's the, the, the magician. And Lorelai says at some point we have to do that this winter. Michael Shannon from Ireland. Hello there. How much you spend in your caravan? Well, I bought it for about 16000 and change, almost 17000 It turned into 20000 for some reason after all was said and done. And uh, I probably put a few, a, a couple thousand extra dollars on it, like in solar panels uh, and, uh, and the, that water heater. I, uh, you know, I, I modified it pretty, pretty heavily. And Mr. Roboto, have you ever considered having a live music stream session with Driving and Vibing? That would be a must-see YouTube streaming. That would be cool. One of these days, we might get together. Kyle, Kyle and Olivia are super, super cool people. And um, maybe when I'm in, in, Fer, in Fairhope, Alabama, that's where they're from. Or maybe we'll meet uh, uh, somewhere along the, along the way, on the road. And I spent any time in rural New York? Not really. Volcano Time Lapse. Thank you so much for that super chat. Wish we could send more. Uh, don't worry about it, man. Anything, every, everything, uh, it's uh, it's uh, very, very much welcome. Thanks for all your hard work, and you're very welcome. Uh, Roy H., hello, Robert from Tennessee. Enjoy your videos. What kind of drone do you have? Also, do you use any any to boost cell or internet sign signals? Also, what do you edit your GoPro vi videos with? Keep videos coming. Okay, uh, question number one. I use a DJI Mavic Pro. It's a little old at this point, but it's. I think the DJI Mavic Pro is the minimum modern drone, you know, that has like the modern features and it's compact enough for you to carry anywhere. Uh, so um, that would be uh, it. What else? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, GoPro or no GoPro? All my videos I edit on Premiere Pro, uh, on Adobe Premiere Pro, on a PC actually these days. I used to use uh, Final Cut on a Mac. And what was the other question? Uh, to boost internet signals right now I have the Togo Road Link that uh, you can buy it and then you can get an unlimited AT&T plan it does have a, a booster inside and it, 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 it kind of doubles uh, as a cell phone booster and it also has a, a Wi-Fi booster inside but just for overkill I also have a Wii Boost and I have a Wi-Fi Ranger and, um, and I'm li really looking forward to the new Wi-Fi Ranger coming out or that just came out, the convergence uh, system. Luis Rivera, thank you so much for that super chat. Really appreciate it. And um, yeah, definitely. Uh, well, let me see. Heavy storm coming to the Midwest. That's the same one that it, it snowed in California, in Southern California, which is kind of bizarre in, in Joshua Tree. Uh, my nephew Isaac uh, says, tell Robert I say hello to Hello, Isaac. And uh, Elvis, Blue Christmas. Yeah, I don't know Blue Christmas, believe it or not. I, I've heard it, but I, I don't know the, the words. Please stay in, in Tolon Toronto again. Definitely. One, one of these days, I will make it back to Toronto. Uh, Anita K., I feel the same way about mountains. I have lived in Florida my whole life. There is something about seeing mountains. So beautiful. Yeah, all we get to see down here is, uh, is uh, you know, the, the trash, you know, the, the landfill. <laughs> That's the highest point in the, in the Florida Keys. Have you camped Big Sur, California? Not yet. I've, I've driven it, but I haven't camped there. Uh, okay, let me go down here. Your birthday, Dylan. All right, on May thirteenth. I'll probably be. I'll probably be somewhere near uh, Kansas City or some somewhere around there. 
Uh, how's the new truck, the Colorado? Um, so far, so good. Almost 40,000 miles. It has a little noise going like, I think it's a vibration. I thought it was like a grinding noise originally, but I think it's a vibration. I'm going to take it to the dealer one of these days. It's uh, around between two and 3,000 RPMs, between second and third gear. It goes like, it does one of these. Um, I'm going to take it soon. And Mr. Roboto, looking forward to the Grand Canyon video. Me too. I'm right now. Let me see if I can show you. I have a big mess here in my studio. but Hold on. This is what I'm editing right now. And that's that's northern New Mexico right there going into uh, into Colorado. So the Colorado video is going to be obviously the next one in which I go to, to Durango. And then uh, Silverton and Uray. Lovely towns, all of them. She was very nasty. She wouldn't allow it to use her Wi-Fi and theirs worked poorly or not at all. The power went for six hours and you're not allowed to use the Jenny. I see that's the same problem I had in Durango, uh, Red Jaguar. And if that's going to be a, a, an ongoing theme with the KOAs, I might stop using KOAs altogether uh, because uh, I think that's borderline illegal what they're doing, not letting you use your own Wi-Fi. Hey, Robert, Grumpy Glenn here. I have a question. How do you like your digital door lock? Thinking about putting on the fifth wheel. Any info? I like it, except that it's uh, after three or four years in the Florida sun, it's kind of falling apart. You know, the, it used to be that this waterproof, I guess, after pressing the buttons too many times, the, the plastic is starting to crack. So I don't know if that's something that I can just order the part for the outside or just, um, I don't know. Have you installed new batteries on Minitini yet? No, I'm, I think for the next couple of trips, I'm going to use one of these power stations that I, that I got. All right, everybody. I'm going to start wrapping this up. 721, uh, 721 p.m. here in Miami, Florida. Uh, so, um, All right, I'm trying to see here. From Salt Lake City. I, I still haven't been to Salt Lake City, so yeah. Definitely. All right. Thank you so much. Happy 420, people. 420. Do we have 420 people or do you mean that it is 420 where you are? Well, we have 225 right now. Let me see. Uh, we peaked. We peaked at 240. You used to say it here. Uh, to well, 240 we're up there it picked at 246 or 248 uh, today so uh, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead here and uh, and sing you a song before we go here in my old guitar <laughs> P 420 is a marijuana term. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, John Monsanto. Thank you, Jorge Urquiola. Lucky Dog Productions moderator, Monochrome, Monocross Max. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Wherever I want to be 
Cause I'm free In my Thank you very much everybody Have a great uh, Happy Friday The rest of Friday The rest of the weekend um, Don't spend all your money On, 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 on Cyber Monday And uh, I'll see you Next Friday Right here from the Pelican headquarters In Miami, Florida See you on the road. <laughs>